All right, how's it going, everybody? It's Zaps here today. You know, I just have another quick tutorial, real quick, for you guys, since the last one worked out so well. Um, first of all, I just want to say, um, you know, thank you so much. We just hit 100 subscribers. Yeah. So you've been playing Pokemon Go. All your friends have been playing Pokemon Go. You're like, I really love Pokemon again. Let's play some more. Then you realize, oh shoot. I don't have a Game Boy, or I don't know where the hell it is. What am I gonna do? So, you go to your phone and you look for an emulator. Well, if you're stupid or if you're cool, if you download iOS 10 like me, the, you know, the beta version, most likely you're gonna be in having the same predicament as I am currently. Because, you go in, you do your, your date and time, and then you set as manually. But it doesn't freaking let you anymore go past the 2012. That's out of the bag. I mean, you can't do that anymore. But don't worry. There is another way to do it, guys. And my friend showed it to me the other day. You don't have to change your date and time settings at all. It seems super clean, super awesome. You know, the app looks great and everything. So what you're going to want to do is open the website GameplayColor.com from your iPhone, iPad, whatever device you're using. So we'll go ahead and do that here. I have it on my Mac already, so that's why I did that. Um, it's going to bring you to this awesome page with Pikachu and Gameplay Color. So what we're going to want to do is click Play Now. And the way that this game works is it uses your Google Drive to constantly send information back. You basically download the ROM into your Google Drive and it'll send it right to this app. It's, it's amazing. You don't even need Google Drive on your phone. I, I honestly don't know how it works. So we're going to open the mobile app. Yep. And then we're going to tap Share and Add to Home Screen. So you tap Share down there add to home screen so what this is going to do is it's going to add add this right here it's basically going to be an app but it just opens up a website every time so we'll go ahead and add that and i brought it right there onto my home screen so we'll go ahead and tap right into it and it brings you here into this page so i'm going to tap sign in sign in is going to bring you into your settings for google drive to allow access so i will go ahead and click allow and then it's going to give you a code, okay? What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hold so you can copy and paste. Um, sometimes you have to drag it up a little bit, it won't catch it all. So we're going to copy that, go back into the app, and then we'll enter the access code here by pasting it. And we'll tap continue. And now it's going to say no games, that's all right. Basically this means that it's connected to your drive and it's looking for any ROM files or Game Boy files like that. So. Your next step is going to be either on your computer or your phone. It usually works better with a computer. You don't have to have a Mac, just anything that can access the internet for Google Drive. You're going to want to go find an emulator website. Um, this one here works. It's emuparadise.me. Um, I'll link this one in the description along with the other way to get the app onto your iPhone or iPad. So let's say I want Pokemon Red. I'm going to go P. Even though they have it in most downloaded, I'll show you how to find it as well. You're going to go to P. And then we are going to scroll down until we find Pokemon Red. So as you see, it's right here. It's not going to be yellow on your screen. That just means I've clicked it before. Um, you're going to want the USA Europe or Europe version. Um, unless you're a different nationality or language, you can click on the other one. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go to USA Europe. And so right here, it's going to bring you to this page. Go ahead and just click download links or scroll down to the download links. This is just a quick navigation so it's going to bring you right here. If you look right up here at the top, this is what you're going to want. And it's going to bring you to this page to download it. So it's going to say it's preparing to download, which is not really preparing it at all. It's kind of stupid. We're going to want to click download here. So we'll go ahead and click download again on the text. And it's going to make you wait 15 freaking seconds for no reason. And then it went ahead and already downloaded it right here in a zip. So we're going to go into the drive, your Google Drive, once more. So you're going to want to go ahead and from your downloads, um, either drag it in here or click new and then add a file and then add the zip file. So it's going to go ahead and download the zip into here. And with Google Drive, I know on the Macs, it might not be for Windows, it probably is. But if you um, double click on it, it'll bring up how you want to open it. And I'm going to click open with zip extractor. This is just another website um, that's going to be connected to Google. It'll go ahead and extract it for you, everything like that. Um, so it's a free open source thing. So it's going to go ahead and get authorization. It might click, make you click authorize and ask if it has permission to use your Google account. That's fine. Go ahead and give it permission. Then it's going to extract. You're going to make sure everything's checked. Go ahead and hit extract now. And right here, you can see the zip file. You can already go ahead and get rid of that. And then we go in here 
and I like to keep it clean so I'm just gonna take this file and drag it back into my drive and get rid of the folder I don't really want a whole folder for it and now you should have the correct file for your phone so you're gonna want to get an app and probably you're gonna have to restart it and once you restart it you should already see a game cartridge right there and now it's grayed out which means it hasn't loaded yet or connected to the internet so you're gonna go ahead and tap it it's going to connect it and BAM watch this we tap it one more time there you go you have it right there you can choose your speed of the game you can choose the color of your Game Boy it's awesome you can play this in airplane mode everything's saved right to your device thank you guys for watching today I'll leave a link in the description on how to do all this if you have any questions at all or running any problems go ahead and leave me a comment below I'll be sure to address those in a future video or address them through the comment sections as well. Um, but anyway, if you guys like the video, please subscribe as well to my channel. We do a bunch of fun stuff here. Just add another tutorial on how to hatch your eggs faster too. So go ahead and check that out. And we'll see you guys later. Peace out.